you don't mind if I sit okay. here so I can write, because yeah. I'm going to be taking a lot of notes. So. Okay. Do you want to sit here by our, you? Or no. Okay. Where in wherever they just kind of got us in a small room here. So. This is where they use the bigger print stuff. So. And then here's wherever where you want to sit. He's not coming in. No. Oh. No, no, that's for you. That's for you. So oh, that's your chair. <laughs> okay. My name is David. You just call me Dave. Okay. Um, and you go by Alyssa. Yep. Okay. And this all happened. It would have been Wednesday, the twenty-first. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to go through some basic information just to make sure that I understand a little bit about the house there and where you all live. Okay. Um, who all lives in the house there with you? My two brothers. You want my names? Please. Nathaniel and Joseph. Nathaniel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Joseph. Okay. Emma. My grandma. Wednesday, were they all there? Um, I believe so. And you all on that property out there, is that right? The land out there behind there, is that yours? Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to start from Wednesday morning. Let's just kind of start there. Okay. Walk me through from the time you woke up in the morning. Okay. Woke up in the morning. And walk me through exactly what happened. We didn't go to seminary that day, right? Okay, so I woke up and got ready, and I went out to go get the bus. Would have missed the bus. That's what usually picked me up. So I went back to the house, and my grandpa gave me a ride to school. So I went to school, okay. and I was there all day. And then I came home. All of us, they got hanging on three. No, four. Three, 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 four. I get home around then, and I just hung out in my room for a little while. And then I went for a walk around five, four, three, five, something like that. And I was just walking around in forest for a while. And I was supposed to take my little sister with me, but I ditched her since she's annoying. And I was just walking around in the forest, and then for about an hour, I came back around 5, 36-ish, and I went up to my room, and I heard, like, Emma yelling, so I went outside, and I, like, she was down in the, like, ditch area, she was stuck in thorn bushes, so I went down there, and I helped her out. And she asked me why I was waiting, because, you know, I thought I was on my period. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, don't tell me about that. And so we went out there, and my brother and Anthony were asking about Elizabeth, because she was supposed to be at home or something. Okay. And I didn't really think much of it, so we just went back to the house, and then started to get ready to go to church, because we have Wednesday night activities. Okay. And Anthony came, and he's like, he was patting on the door, and he was like, do you know where Elizabeth is? Because he couldn't find her. And that's when things started to get, you know, people were like, oh, what's going on? Like, where is she? But we ended up going to church, and I don't know, a lot of stuff happened while we were there, because it's from 7 to 8.15-ish. And when we came back, there was three sheriff cars in our property, and there was people out searching everywhere. Uh -huh. And, um, that's pretty much it. I want to see if I'm Okay. Okay. Alright. Kind of start you over a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So you got up and uh, you were going to get on the bus. You missed the bus. Yes. And you were at school. Mm-hmm. You didn't ditch that day. Nope. Okay. So we verified that you're at school. Yes. So if we check, they're going to say you were at school. Yes. That day. Yes. Okay. What'd you do at school? I uh, went to all my classes, did my schoolwork, went to my couch. Anything happen at school? Nope. Anything that meant full? Just the usual school day. Okay. I mean, any, anything out of the ordinary? Nope. Fights or arguments with anybody? Mm-hmm. Now, you have a boyfriend. I do. Okay, what's his name? His name is Dustin. Dustin. Okay. Do you know, has anybody talked to him about any of this? Or I'm anything? pretty sure he's been interviewed. Okay. Okay. So you didn't ditch school that day, but the next day you did, is that right? Yes. Okay. Okay, making sure I got my days right. Okay. Did you talk to Dustin on Wednesday? Yes. Okay. Anything happened that day? Dustin, everything was normal? All right, um, so you go to school, and what time did you get home from school? Um, 3.30-ish. 3.30, okay. Who was home at 3.30? My grandpa. Grandpa was home, right? Yes. You were at the daycare. My grandma, no. She was at home, too, so I remember seeing the truck in the garage. Um, Catherine was there. Ryan wasn't there yet. Catherine my, is your aunt? Yes. And my brothers and Emma were still on the bus because they don't get here to they don't get home to school. So grandpa, grandma, and Catherine and Russ. Is that it? Yes. Okay, so three thirty, that's that's who was home. Mm-hmm. What'd you do when you got home? Um, I went in my room, went to the bathroom, did the usual stuff when you get home from school. Sure. And then I decided to go for a walk. It was, it was a nice day, Wednesday. Okay. So, I went outside and went to school. Just... Where, where'd you go when you went to a walk? Where'd you go? Okay. There's like a tree line. Do you want to like draw this for you? Or I have a map. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, map the thing, thing about this, this map, okay. I don't think it has Our where house. your actually house is. So, the way I understand it's the new right house here. would be right back here. Is that yes. right? Okay, let's say the new house is ballpark here. So that, is this correct then? So the wood line is back over here? Mm-hmm. Okay, so where I did you go? I went through here, and I hung out with the pond for a little while. Okay. And then there's a trail that goes out here, and then it's like right... Draw it for me if you want okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far back it goes. It's like past all the clearings, and then when it starts to get to like a smaller trail and whatnot, there's a little side thing. It's like a side trail I go off on. And you just keep following that trail, and it goes off over there. And there's like a really cool cow pasture with um, sweet looking, it's like a creek kind of. Okay, so it follows, it goes from pond to pond to pond. Are these those ponds? Are ponds. Oh, they're not? No, those are, those are like clearings. Yeah, just clearings? clearings. Okay, yes. all right. So there's like three, clearing three, clearing. Three, three clearings, I believe. And then this goes to a creek bed. And then, and then there's a trail, but it's kind of hard to miss the side turning. It's like kind of right at the beginning of the trail and it splits off and you cross a little creek and then there's another like path, like a okay. path, and you just follow that and then it takes you to this little pasture. Okay. But something we always do is we'll walk, walk a person through their day and we make a timeline just so we uh, mm-hmm. go through everything. So what time did you go for your walk? I went for my walk around 4.30 or 5. So how long, when you got home about 3.30, how long were you at home messing around before you went on your walk, do you think? I was home at least an hour. Okay, hour. So, so about 4.30 or 5 you went? Know? Right. Okay. So, so you would have left the house, went out this direction, mm-hmm. and went out here. And then, so the creek bed goes out this way? Well, there's, there's a, I believe that this little line here is the trail or something. But Did like, you go out all this way over yes. here? And, and then just, where'd you go from here? I just kept following the uh Where path. does it go from here? Show me. Um it it ballpark. goes like it does some turns and whatnot, but it's a pretty easy path to follow. It's like okay. a road path. Well, I mean show me what does it loop back around then? No, no, it doesn't loop. It like goes this way, I think. Okay, and then what'd you do? 
And then the, the pasture I just hung out at the creek. And then, then what you do? I came back. Then you walk back. Yes. And then what you do? I went home. Do you take that same route yes. back? Is what I'm asking. Yes, I did. So you went back up here, hung out at a pasture, mm -hmm. and then came back here. Yes. Okay. How long did that take you to do? Um, it takes about. How long were you on your walk? It's about. Walk. It's about fifteen or twenty minutes, I believe. Right from what is the first half after we went in? When we took Princess with us. Yeah. I don't okay. know. It's How really long were you gone that like day after walk? I was gone for about an hour. Okay, so you were gone about an hour. Mm -hmm. When you walked up there to the cow pasture, what were you doing? Um, I was just, you know, enjoying nature, taking a walk. Were you smoking? No. Okay. If you were, that's that's fine. I don't care. I'm just trying to get an idea. This is one of those occasions where if you were, we don't care if you were smoking. Oh, I know. I, I was Okay. Okay. So you're walking up there, and you go up to this cow pasture. Did you meet anybody up there? No. Did you meet Dustin up there? Did you meet anybody else up there? Or did you see anybody on the trail? Okay. It was just forests. Okay. Okay. So you walked up there, um, and you've gone about an hour, and then you came back. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And then what'd you do? Um, I went up in my room. And then I heard Emma like yelling, like crying, if you know. So I came outside and she was, okay, well, we don't have the gravel road, but it's, we excavated it, say that's like the pond or something. Mm -hmm. And like, this is the gravel road and it comes around this way. Yep. But like in this part, there's like a steep incline, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And she was down in there. And down like, in here? Yes. Okay. And like, she was stuck in thorn bushes. And I helped her out. Okay. Now, you were in your room? Mm -hmm. What part of the house is your room? It's up here. I have my window open. That's why I'm here. Okay. Okay. So you heard Emma was, was she yelling? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you went down to help Emma? Mm -hmm. She was stuck? Yep. Okay. Do you remember when that was? Ooh, that was around. It wasn't that whole record. Okay. When you went home, you were up in your room. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you go down to help Emma, mm -hmm. and she was stuck. How how was she stuck? Well, like there was a big old bush of thorn, like big old thorn bush, uh -huh. and like she couldn't get over it. She, she somehow managed to get herself stuck in there, so I had to go down and help her. Okay. Is she like the little person? You look after her? I do. I mean, she's annoying, but she's still your person. Yeah. If the time is critical, my husband remembers because Alyssa went charging, running down the stairs. I mean, really loud. So yeah, I heard exactly her screaming. What time she went charging down the stairs because I think this is the critical time here because this is when Alyssa, uh, Emily, I mean, Emma and Elizabeth. We're parting, had just parted ways at this point before she started crying. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's an important time, but. Um. Yeah, I want to back you up a little bit because when you went on your walk, um, you went on your walk, you said about 4 30 or 5 or so. Mm -hmm. um, who did you see when you went on your walk? I mean, you're, when you went out, who was around there? Um, well, I just remember seeing Catherine's car in the driveway. Mm -hmm. um, Grandma and Grandpa's doors sitting in the garage, early, and I just walked out and I started like running to ditch Emma down there. And she, okay, she so so me. Emma was behind you. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you didn't see anybody else. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, did you see? You said your aunt Catherine was home at that time. Yes. Okay. Um, so you came back, you helped Emma, and then what happened from there? You helped Emma out, and then what'd you do from there? Um, we went back to the house after I got her up out of the okay. house. And then we started to get ready for church, because church starts at 7. Okay. Okay. We went to church, we just did the activities. 
to eight and uh, everything was great. So you got back at eight and then what what did they tell you? What? Well they were like, yeah, there's three shares they have people out searching for her, they can't find her. They have people searching and she's in the forest and have dogs and everything. Couldn't, couldn't find Elizabeth, yeah. is that what they're telling me? Yeah. They, they just said she was missing. Like, yeah, they were like questioning me about the day. They didn't actually question me that day though, because I went up to go take a shower and then uh, I just left or something. So they just told you Elizabeth was missing? My grandma. How did that make you feel? I don't know, I was just, I didn't think it would like, you know, happen. Like, things like this don't happen. What what can you tell me about Elizabeth? I don't know other than her name and her date of birth here. I don't know anything about this girl. Tell me about Elizabeth. Um, well, she's nine. Okay. I don't really know that much about her either. Um, I mean, tell me what you do know about her. Okay. She come over and swim. She's kind of girly. Like, okay. not, not like naturistic. Okay. Um, she can be annoying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'm not too strange. Yeah. She's on the Emma. Okay. Um, and she six. rides my. Yeah, she rides my. Little sister's cars. Got that. So. Well, you know, there's been, uh, and there were some folks out there uh, out in the forest, I guess, digging some holes or looking at some holes. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, I guess they had said that you like to go out there and, and dig holes, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to ask you some stuff about yourself. Okay. Because, um, you know, obviously that plays in there if they were looking at holes and you're out there in the forest and that sort of thing. So it, right. I guess just tell, tell me a little bit about yourself so I understand where all this is coming from. Um, I really like nature, animals, being outside. It's okay. It's just you know nature and stuff like that. And I get bored really easily, okay. and I'm entertained really easily. Okay. So you know, digging holes is just something to do. And behind our daycare house, there's like two um that you haven't built in, right? Two holes that from when me and my brothers were digging holes when we lived in the house. Okay. And they're really big, but the one that usually I, just, I don't dig in the holes because I get bored. I like start doing it in the week. Okay, you just like to dig holes. And I like to climb trees. Okay. Uh, oh, and I bury um dead animals that I find, so I just respect them. Okay. Okay. Um, what kind of holes do you dig? Um. Tell me about these holes you dig. Well, you dig them a certain way every time, or just, just dig a hole. Just dig a hole, pretty much. Okay. Just wherever they're at. I mean, do you dig at a certain spot or what? Well, just a big round hole. <laughs> I'm such a non-dirt. Girl, yeah. that's amazing to me. I, I don't do worms and I don't do dirt. Well, so I'm in rugby. Oh. And so, like, we do a lot of contact physical uh -huh. in the mud and whatnot. And I, yeah, I've got several girls really doing rugby. That's kind of the thing right now, isn't it? Yeah. Is this new? Um, I hadn't heard of it until this year. This is the first year I've, I've and, yes. I, and I know several so girls I, that are playing. How many teams are there? Girls rugby? Yes. Um, it's girls rugby. rugby. High school girl rugby. And hey. they get after it. Oh, I'm sure they yes, do. Yes, they do. The school doesn't sure sponsor it because it's too dangerous. But there's a team okay. in Jeff City. I know there's at least two Good teams form. in Jeff City. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not sure about the other one, but I don't know. 
And you love it? I do. And you love the mud? And it's you love dirt hard. under your fingernails? Do you mind worms? <laughs> oh, I like okay, worms. Girl. Yeah, I'm all, like, when I'm working in you're my class, I'm like, I'm like a worm girl, because I don't do, and I'm all, ooh, yeah, you there's too a worm. <laughs> yeah, you would have had to run to ditch me at the wood line. I'd have been like, oh, I'm right here. My little sister, she's just, she, she'll follow you. She'll be like, oh. She was you. running to keep up. <laughs> yeah. So you had to outrun her. I did. Yeah. It's not that hard, though, because she's six. She's six. Yeah. Alyssa, this hole that you dug, when did you dig that hole? I, Sunday. 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 Yes. Why did you dig that hole? Because Sunday I was bored. You don't really do much on Sunday. I watch TV, play video games, you know. So, sad to go inside. When did you dig it? Ooh. I think my grandpa would have the exact time. I don't really know. What were you doing Sunday? Tell me about Sunday then. We didn't go to church Sunday, right? Because we were at mom's house, I believe. I was at my mom's house for the weekend. Okay. She lives at the lake. And. We came back around five, and I know I got it before dark, so it was sometime in between. Wait, what time did we come home? Yeah, to six. Well, it must have been in between like six to seven, I guess. You picked her up where? Um, Eugene. You picked <coughs> her up at 6 p.m. at Eugene? Right. And it's uh, how long the drive? Half hour. So you got back home 6.30, 6.45-ish probably? Maybe the ride is 6.30. 6.30? It's getting dark by then. Yeah. Okay. So, so you got home at six thirty. Yeah. And how did you dig a hole? At what? So what did you well, do on Sunday? A, well, I'm not asking what your grandpa. Okay. What you got home at six thirty on Sunday? What did you do then? Oh, I think I took a shower and went to sleep. So I don't think I did it. I think it was Saturday actually. No, because I wasn't here Saturday. You weren't here Saturday. Nope. On Sunday. Right. Monday. I think it was Friday then, because I was here Friday. And I know I did it during the day, because it wasn't dark. And we did not school Friday. So, I'm pretty sure it was fine. Because I was out there yesterday, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you remember my face, I talked to you yesterday, yes. and I probably don't remember, I had mud all over me then because it was raining, I had been digging a hole for about five hours, right. and uh, uh, you and your grandpa assured me it was on Sunday, and told me you were 100% positive it was Sunday, so now you're, are you sure well, it, it was Sunday? Well, uh, now that I actually think about it, I was just listen to my grandpa because he keeps track of things really well but if I didn't get home until 6 30 then there's no way I could yeah there's it wouldn't seem possible right was, right and you weren't here Saturday right and you didn't do it during the week because there's only Monday Tuesday right so then you're thinking it had to be Friday yes okay so tell me about Friday do you remember Friday did you go to school on Friday you we didn't, didn't, have, we didn't okay. have school Friday no school on Friday so I got up around like so were uh, Grandma and Grandpa home on Friday, or did you work on Friday? You were half day, so were you been home at noon? Okay, so was she asleep when you got home? I just didn't get Okay. So I don't think so. I, I pretty much like gotten up and was just hanging out. Just, you know, Oh, that's fine. So then Friday, what you do? Think back to Friday. After getting up, I hung out for a while at the house. And it was a nice day Friday. Relatively nice day. So I decided to go outside and just do whatever. And I dug a hole. And then I came Okay, back. well, hold on. I'm going to slow you down. Okay. It was a nice day. No school. You slept till noon. Mm hmm Do you remember what time you went outside? I do not. It, maybe three. Three in the afternoon. Do you remember who was with you? 
I do not think I have one. I lost so many ones. My grandpa, my grandpa should have seen me. Yeah. He would have seen me. Grandpa would have seen you yeah. go out? Did you just bring the shovel with you? Yes. What kind of shovel? Long shovel or like one of the short shovels? Um, it's a pretty long shovel, like that tall. Okay, so do you think- It's not a camping shovel or anything. Okay, that's what I meant, like one of the short yeah. ones or one long. Did you go to the house again? No, I went to the daycare. Bar. I remember looking out the window and seeing you walking with the shovel. It was at the bar. Oh, okay. So I was still at work. I don't get off until 1230. Right. Go to the bar and thinking, what is she doing on that shovel? So you saw her I take the shovel? Yeah. Well, you and did. I was at work. Now that you're bringing all this up, yeah. Wait, wait, where's the daycare? It's in the front. It's right next to the bar. Daycare's in front, new house is in back, forest is behind it. Uh, and this was on Friday? Okay. And what time was that? Well, I, I'm not exactly sure. I left there at quarter to one. It was toward the end of my day. Do you know what Where I mean? did you see her walk to then? I just saw her walking to the new house. Um, to the house? Mostly, I don't, I probably wouldn't have even remembered because she walks all over, but I remember seeing a shovel in her hand. And you're, you're positive that was on Friday? Well, I can't be positive, 100% positive, but it was within the last few days. And since we're kind of, you know, narrowing the days down on the timeline, mm. I would get, I would have to say it was Friday. Okay. I don't know why that matters, but. Well, it, it matters because we, I mean, you know, if there's, if there's a, you know, we're trying to account for why there's you know, an odd hole back there and when when it was dug. So I mean, we're trying to account for that hole. And it was either Thursday or Friday, I can tell you that 100% for sure. And since she probably didn't do it Thursday, because she has rugby, doesn't come home until 5.30, it just kind of fits into that, that's the only day. Do you know what I mean? And I can see why you do these timelines, because then you... Yeah, where where is this? Uh, I'm, this isn't oh my word. exact. Oh, well, this yeah, is when she could just map, have so if this were the I house, have where a, um, where's the whatever she has in her brain to see all that? That where, looks like a mess to me. Well, if here's the your road coming in and here's the house, where's this daycare? Is the daycare in your house? No, there's a whole house there. What's this? Well, here's the what? Like, here's your here's the where would the pond be? And here's the highway. Here's the highway, so here's your driveway coming in, right saw. Yeah, you're making that a house, that's what you're <laughs> yes. Okay, then it would be like right okay. here somewhere. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, okay. Okay, sorry, uh, I'm, I apologize, I just, okay. we don't have, I have to get my bearings, we don't so. have an updated, this was Google Maps, this was all they, they don't, it's not updated new enough to where it has your, your house yeah. on there, so. But I didn't see my barn. And... Yeah, okay. So you're thinking it was last week when you did that? Yes. Um, why did you dig that hole? Um, because I was bored and I felt like doing something. It's Tell me about that hole though. It's a very specific hole. Very, it's a very unique hole, I should say. Are all of your holes like that? No. Okay. But why? You dug the hole, so you know yes. you know what I'm talking about. Yes. That was a very, very unique hole. I guess. I was digging. I mean, whatever shape comes to mind. I was just entertaining myself. I, the reason I'm asking, I just it just seems like a and you can understand why, as uh, if people were out in the woods looking for, yeah. if looking for a person yes. if they were lost, or God forbid, looking for if they thought it was a, you know, God forbid, a body, why they would be alarmed by that hole because they're, you know, come along a, a hole, a freshly dug hole that was we're talking about a perfect rectangle hole that is three by about four and a half, five foot, perfect rectangle, uh, I mean, perfect size, uh, what would be a, a grave or what would be, think of a small coffin. So think a perfect rectangle about three feet by about four and a half, five foot, straight shovel marks down, about as you described when I talked to you out there, 
about that deep. Um, straight down the first few inches of dirt, uh, you know, up until you get to that real hard packed dirt, almost as if somebody were digging down, got to a point where you got to those roots and that hard dirt and realized it's too hard to dig. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And so that's why so many people, I think, were alarmed by that hole because that's the kind of hole that, that we sense. as investigators typically see when, when we find a body in it. So uh, I think that's why there were so many people alarmed by that. So that's the reason I was asking why most people, if they were just going to bury a bunny or, or something out there, you know, they dig. If I'm digging a hole, by God, just dig a hole. But for a 15 year old girl to dig a perfectly rectangle, three by four, five square rectangle hole, it just caught a lot of people as very odd. That makes sense. It does. What do you think about that? Well, I guess, you know, the timing for digging that hole was definitely not good. Have you ever dug a hole like that before? I have. Where at? Um, I've buried animals, they're up in, behind the house there's like a little hill that goes up and there's trees and there's like a little grave-ish site we dug holes for like dead cats. Okay. I mean, did you, because what I'm trying to do is so that I can go out of here and, you know, be able to tell some of these other agents that look, this, you know, this wasn't, she wasn't digging a grave site, she's dug holes like this before. Mm -hmm. Uh, so are there other sites you could show us that where you dug a perfect rectangle um, hole like this? Or is this the only time you dug a hole just like that? Because if there is another hole like that, you could show us. I think that's the only hole that's not filled in. That's like well, it doesn't matter if it's filled in or not. Okay. We have experts out there that can look at that. And I mean, these guys can, it doesn't matter if it's a year old. They can, okay. they have sonar, they can run right over it and they can tell you the shape, the depth, the whole thing. We're talking about guys that have uh, the FBI. They have instruments that can do just just about everything. So I mean, if there is one that you can point out, we can show. Look, this is, you know, this girl likes to dig holes in certain shapes, and that way they they'll calm down about you know nobody will think you know it's it's different or weird about it. So do you? Are I mean, is there? Have you dug a hole like this before then, or is this the first time? It's not completely like this, but it's like kind of like. Okay, like so this big is a rocks. Okay, but this is the first time of that size. Yes, yes. Okay. But okay. well, what about the big round ones? I keep kept falling in. I mean, they're deep. <laughs> I kept telling me, "Did you guys quit doing this? Because they're dangerous." And we used yeah. to ride our horses up there, and I could like, sure. I mean, they are huge. Okay. There's like three or four of them. Yeah. This digging, is, now this is on our property. Digging pits for what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was entertaining. Okay. <laughs> and we like to make traps just occasionally, you know, put some sticks over it and some leaves. Yeah, we find you to bring oh, away. Yeah, yeah. Well, if they have horses, that's not a good idea. Listen. Well, we don't ride our horses you know, up there. I was going to say, you know, if a horse breaks right, his leg, right. what happens? I know, but we, yeah. we, we didn't do that. We don't ride our horses. We well, we used to. We, have we used to, but we don't. You have so. horses. You have horses. I do. But they're not rectangular. Big round ones. I don't know what that matters. Okay. Um, did, uh, did Elizabeth ever go on walks with you in the woods? Nope. I know you said her. she was a girly girl. Yeah, I've but... never seen her in the woods. Okay. I mean, did, did you ever take her on walks in the woods or anything like that? When I go on walks, I like to look myself. Okay. Um, does Dustin ever go on walks with you out in the woods or anything like that? What do you know about all of this so far? Obviously, unfortunately, your poor family has been thrown in the middle of this. So what what do you know about this whole investigation or mess? She's still missing. They're out looking for her. They don't want more volunteers. There's no volunteers so far. It's, this is really big. They've had helicopters yeah, they searching have. as well. And I don't know, that's pretty much what happened. It's very sad. And, yeah, her, imagine if Emma was missing, God, it would be awful. Yeah, and her mom, her family. Just, yeah. I mean, that's, that's why they're making such a big deal about this. Yeah. I mean, can you, like, it, like you said, if it, 
mean, you, you can understand why all this is going on. the stairs when Emma was screaming outside. I mean, I just can't. I know. I've got kids, so I can't, mm-hmm. can't even imagine. I'm going to ask you just some, some opinion questions here. Okay. What, what do you think happened to Elizabeth? Um, I really don't think she would run away because she's nine. And... Way that they've been searching for two days, never got any sign of her. So I, I think that maybe someone kidnapped her or something. It's a terrible thing. I, I don't know what else to assume. Would she have easily been lured into a call? I mean, was she that kind of girl? I don't. I, I don't know. Would she? I mean, would oh. she have been like a with a kitten? I mean, maybe. Um, You'd have to ask him all that. Sure. Do you, I mean, do you think somebody did something to her? Is that? That seems most likely, because I don't think she'd be the kind of person that would, like, hide or stay out all night or anything like that. Okay. Is there anybody in that area you can think of that would, when it comes to mind, that you would think that that would, that would do that? Is there anybody that, knowing your neighbors, that you would... No, but there is a lot of cars to drive down that highway. Okay, Okay, a couple, just a few opinion questions. I'm just asking your opinion, because what type of person do you think would do this sort of thing to a nine-year-old girl? Um, I don't know. Like, a sick person. Like, someone that... Put down all their morals and just take an idea of girl. Whenever we find out what happened to her, if somebody did something to her, mm-hmm. what do you think should happen? I think they should get um, convicted. Well, yeah, because all the trouble that they cause them so far. I'm going to ask you because I ask everybody. Mm-hmm. Did you do anything to Elizabeth? No. Did you cause her disappearance? No. Did you kill her? No. Do you know where she's at right now? No. Okay. Uh, I, I may have. I may have. I'm new to this. Like, um, so Elizabeth was playing with Emma. That's my understanding. When was that? Oh, they were sometime after I had gone in the forest because I guess Emma just decided to go and play with her kids. Oh, uh, after you ran away and yes. she went to find somebody new to play with. Mm-hmm. Have you talked with Emma about all this? I have. I mean, what, a little what is, bit. What did she say? She's just saying that Elizabeth dropped her off and decided to go back home. She didn't really say too much about it. And then she said, yeah, they were playing with my daughter. So she wasn't tangled up in the bush with her? No. That was supposedly after Elizabeth dropped her, I guess. Okay. Um, and and I, I, go, go ahead, go ahead. Can you just Yeah, go ahead. Do I need to stop? Yes. Yeah. Please. Actually, okay. I need you to step out. If, if, okay. if possible, I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, no, we can yeah. wait a bit longer because if we are, I'm going with her. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, whatever the rules are. I'll you go ahead out. first, please. Oh, we're locked in. Okay. This happens to the juvenile office as well. I Good. locked Good. in and yeah. locked out and green buttons. And... Can you okay? Out. No, I didn't know the doors oh, were locked. Do you need some water? Oh, okay. You do. Okay. Yes, yes, I can. I will not. I'll just stand outside. You just want to come right here. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? You want something to drink? No, I'm good. Uh, Carrie and 
Murphy, Kara Weaver, Jamie Gish, another Jamie, I don't know her last name. And, uh, Kate, Katie, Nelson, Taylor Berry, Tanisha, Sierra, Lauren. That's all I can think of right now. There's supposed to be 15. And we have well, some people that just come and don't come all the time, so you just do that. It's not too much it's too dangerous to have a rash of on the computer clicking like you know she's on the computer like she's 12 or something and she's you know one of the gals is helping on the computer but she's whizzing through that with the mouse just clicking around i was like God, she's a six-year-old so it's you know that that generation is going to grow up with computers you know when they you know you know wondering with these adults like you didn't have the internet like you know you know listening listening to you know when you know, I used to talk to my parents, you know, and they said, you know, I grew up listening, you know, we didn't have a TV, we had a radio, and I'm like, God, that's, you didn't have a television, you didn't have the internet, <laughs> what do you mean you didn't have broadband? <laughs> so, uh, with Emma on her, she, uh, she said she saw Elizabeth, and that's my understanding. Do you know what time that was, or do you, from talking with her, or when that was, or when they played? No, I don't know. Where on this map, and you'll have to help me, which one <coughs> is Elizabeth's house? Or is it, where I, would it be, ballpark? I think it's right there. Okay, so it's not on this map. It was right. somewhere right up there. It's here. not on the map. It's like the last street from the, there's the last house before, yeah. Is there, to walk up there, is there like a back path or something? Like if Emma's gonna go up there, Say, hey, can she come over and play or whatever? Is there? Yeah, there's where's, that. Is. Where's that? On, um, how's on, that? on the. She could probably call it like, Where would she go to? Well, and she I, doesn't take the highway, does she? I believe they do it. Yeah, okay. Emma's not allowed to go alone. I'm She's thinking she'd gone. take the highway. because that'd be the Emma's not way. allowed to go alone? No. She that, doesn't break that she, rule, does she? She did that day, yeah. She no, she's along. broken it before, too. We only knew about it one other time. She knows not to But go away. she asked about that. I told her no. So did you talk to her? Oh yeah, that's what you told her. Did Did she say she went alone that day? Yes, she did. Did you go with her? No. Okay. Did you know she was going up there? No. She, she never came back in the house. We thought she was with Alyssa, so we weren't. And I thought she went back to the house. So she went up there and then brought Elizabeth back. Apparently, did you see? Did, did you see Elizabeth back there? Okay, just Emma. No, they. I never. They didn't come in the house. They stayed on the ground below and played. I didn't even know she was there. Okay. Um, did anybody else in the house see her? Did uh, Aunt Catherine or Brian? I don't know about Catherine Sarah. Not the sweet master, but no one else did. Did you see uh, Catherine or Ryan outside? I didn't see them outside. I just saw their cars parked mainly. Did you see your grandpa outside? Uh, yes. When did you see him outside? I saw him outside as I was leaving. As you were leaving where? To go to the forest. A block. Where was he at? He was working on the front of the house. I think he was working on the steps. <laughs> um, I think he something. Like by the air conditioner. Where's that at? Oh yeah, new steps. The house would be like... The air conditioner's right there. Okay. So he would have saw you walk to the forest. Well, if he was paying attention, I'm pretty sure he would have seen you. 
I would, I mean, that's a long walk. Why would that be? From the front door. Oh, okay. Because okay. my house was He was back here. He was going around back there. He had to knock because he knew that you had the baby. Yeah, because you had Emma. Right. Okay, so. Okay. Um, so we were in the back there. And uh, so your grandpa was back there. And Joseph and Nathaniel were inside. Is that it? No, they were with they were Dave already. Anthony's playing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get that all in my head here. Okay. Uh, so nobody else ever came in the, in the forest to bear with you then? Nope. Uh, did Ryan ever come in the, in the forest with you? Mm -hmm. Did your grandpa ever come in the forest with you? Nope. Did Emma ever make it in the forest with you? Nope. Uh, but you went around this way. Mm -hmm. That day, did you ever go this way? Nope. You were never out there? Oh, I go out there, but I didn't no, go that, that day. No, that day. But you heard Emma down here. Where were, from talking with Emma and the rest of it, where were, you know where Emma and Elizabeth were playing? I mean, from talking and all she the discussion. The There's two big rocks. Where, where are these big rocks at? I mean, are they right around the house here, or where, where are these rocks? I, I don't know what rocks are. They're around the house here, though? You can't where? miss them. They're huge, two huge rocks. That we had brought in. Are they but the ones that are like at the end of the gravel or whatever? Like, where like, kind of where the pond is here? Okay, but, and it goes up, but are they down by this briar where she got stuck or are they up by the house, by your no, house? They're down by the house. They're down by the road. Down here by this. If this were the pond, are they down by this pond? You know, I, I would hate to tell you something that nasty. Uh, like well, I'm just thing. trying. Well, then I'll, I'll go with you. Well, Alyssa would be well, much the better. rocks. Here's, here's the highway. Here's the road that, that comes in. The rocks are about right here. Because the road splits off again to go up to there. Okay. Ryan. So she would have been. Yeah. So closer in between where you found Emma, where she was stuck by the briar or, right. or thorns right. or whatever. Her little tie thing fell off and she went down to get it. So they would have been playing somewhere in there. Um, Pops got she said. And that would have been. Um, you went back in there, mm -hmm. 4.30 or 5, uh, you got back, um, it would have been around 6, six or so, because at yes. 6.15 or 6.30, you heard Emma screaming. Right. Um, uh, so we believe then that around, um, well, it would have been around 5 or so, Emma would have had to go and get Elizabeth. She would have had to walk there. And go and get her and come back. Mm -hmm. How long of a walk is that? I mean, to walk. It's not too to, long. That's not long. To walk down there, knock on the door, get her, and walk back to there. See, we don't know if she stayed and played. Yeah. Her mother would be a better one to tell you when they left because I guess she handed her the cell phone when she left. Yeah. So they walk down, they play. I and thought she left at 5 30. But... Okay. Well, let me ask you this then. Alyssa, when you came back to here, so you take this route back in here, yes. walk back to the house, and you're, so you're obviously you're walking back this path that you came here. Did you see him over here in the, in the I ride? did not. Did you see her right here playing with Elizabeth? No. Was she in the house? Mm. Do you know where she was? No. So she wasn't in the house? No. She wasn't over here. No. She wasn't here. Well, no, I didn't see her over there until I heard her. But I didn't know where she was until I came up. So we have no idea where it was. Right. Okay. So you're saying you just we just don't know where she was. So is it Emma saying she was just playing with Elizabeth the whole time until she got stuck in the thorn bush? Well, I guess they separated the toy down. Elizabeth said she had to go home. Then she had stuck in the bush. Okay. 
Um, okay. Do you have a cell phone? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Um, does Dustin have a cell phone? He and his mom share a cell phone. You guys talk on cell phones or anything back and forth? Mm -hmm. Is that how you guys communicate? Or? We call. We should talk. You guys talk a lot? She run up the phone bill? Well, she's been grounded for the phone for a week. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, every two weeks. On oh, Wednesday or Thursday. She has a two-week grounded, but we haven't even discussed about the stuff in school. In fact, that's going to be that's kind of on the back burner at the moment. Okay. Uh, and you knew Elizabeth had a cell phone? She shared with me. Okay. okay. What color was that cell phone? You knew, you probably had heard that she obviously she had that cell phone with her that day. Um, and you know, we there are pretty easy ways that we have to locate that cell phone uh, through uh, GPS, and they can locate that down to uh, pretty well a, a few inches nowadays, especially with what the, the, the FBI have. Um, so we can pretty well find a cell phone anywhere on the planet nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any reason at all that your fingerprints would be on that cell phone? No. Okay. So if that cell phone were processed, your fingerprints would not be on it. Right. Can you think of any reason why? If, have you ever touched that cell phone? Have you ever held that cell phone? I mean, in the past, any time at all? She ever handed it to you? Or? No. Okay. Now, when you were up in your room here, your room, your uh, I guess window was open. Yes. You heard Emma. Oh yeah. If Emma was down there with Elizabeth. Don't you think you would have heard Emma and Elizabeth playing together? Yeah. But you never heard that? Never? Well, I also have her music on and Emma was really loud and she was scared. What music do you listen to? Well, I had one of my like, CDs in. Did you headphones or just No, I, I have it in the stereo. Okay. Okay. Um, did you talk to Dustin on the night, on the Wednesday, at all, that evening, the early morning? I talked to him on the day. Not at all. Not late at night, early morning, at all. I'm sure you probably talked to him Thursday because you saw him the next day and skipped school and all that. Um, are the two of you pretty close? Yes. Who's your best friend? I mean, who, who's your closest confidant that you, you tell your you know, the, your, your best secrets to? I mean, if you have a problem, who do you go to? I would probably go to Kylie. Kylie? Mm -hmm. Who's Kylie? She's my best friend. Kylie. Mm -hmm. What's her last name? Leidenauer. Kylie Leidenauer. Okay. Um, have you talked to Kylie about any of this? Nope, I haven't had my own. Okay. Did you see her at school or anything since then? She doesn't go to school. Okay. She's so she doesn't, you haven't talked to her about any of this? Mm -hmm. Talk to Dustin? Yes. What's Dustin think about all this? Um, he just wants to they find her. He doesn't really know that much about because he doesn't know her. Okay. Okay. Um, if it came down to, you know, hey, this is a, this is a whodunit and we don't, this girl is missing and we can't find her and they start asking a bunch of people to take polygraphs. I don't think it would come to that. This is the same question we ask everybody. But if it came down to it, would you be willing to take a polygraph sometime in the future to prove that you didn't have anything to do with it? Sure. And what would those results show us? Um, that's true. Okay. That I haven't done anything. Okay, good. Good. Um, 
Now, it's my understanding that uh, did the FBI do uh, a search or something of, of the house where you guys lived? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. What what was that all about? Um, they searched our house, I guess, for any signs of Elizabeth. And they found stuff in the room, but not like evidence like that. They found like marijuana seeds. And, <laughs> and you understand, I don't care about marijuana seeds or any of that. And they found I care uh, less. my medication. Yeah. Don't care about that. Yeah. That's not what we're here about. Has Elizabeth ever been in the house? She's she, coming she over has been in the Emma. house, yes. Yeah, I assume if she's a neighbor girl, she's probably been over there, so uh, not a big deal there. So um, you said they searched your room. Yes. Other marijuana seeds and that sort of stuff. Did they did they find anything? Mm -hmm. they, did they take anything? Um, they took my sheet and okay. a pillowcase, I okay. think. Did they take anything else? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think so. I haven't really surveyed anything. So oh, they took a pair of pants and a diary. Really? I mean, they gave us the list. I can't, it's not all coming to me what was on the list, but there's a long list. Your diary. Yeah. You ever gone through the diary? I just, I have a little text. Yes. Okay. Did you know that? No. Does it make you angry? No. It's kind of your private, private, personal thoughts, isn't it? She'd be in a group that. But only if it's sitting out. I've never gone looking. She's got to sit open on the floor, and I'm I'm in there. I care about it. Um, the diary is supposed to be. You know, I understand where you're coming from. Is the diary is supposed to be your where you keep your your personal thoughts and your secrets and the rest of it. That's where we put our secrets, isn't it? So, and, you know, with something like this, there's. You know, obviously, you know, the, we as law enforcement, you know, we're, we're obviously, we don't know everything that's going on yet because we haven't found it yet. Um, so we're looking at all avenues with this, right? Now. And, uh, um, we've talked to a lot of people, you know, and, and I can tell you, though, we, uh, there's some people that we have talked to that we don't feel we're telling the full truth yet. Um, and that's why we go around, we collect a lot of stuff because we don't always know what is the evidence, what isn't. So sometimes we collect things that we don't, we don't know if they're evidence or not. So we collect things just in case. And that's why they go to your house and they, you know, just yeah. in case because that sort of thing. So um, they collect a lot of things such as your diary. And the shovels. And the shovels. Do you think they went through your diary? If they collected it, they most likely. We talked a little bit earlier about technology. Mm -hmm. Even if you write something down, yeah. it doesn't matter. Let's say you write it down in pencil and then you take a pen and try real hard to scratch it out. That doesn't make it go away. Okay. It's still there. And forensically, and actually you don't even need a whole lot of forensics. If you hold it up to a light, you can see what was written. And then when that's processed forensically, every word, every stroke, is still there. You hear me? What 
we want to do is find out what happened with the little girl. Okay. Okay. You have a little sister. Yes. If something happened to her, you would want to know where she is. Yes. Even if something bad had happened to her. Yes. You would want to know what happened to her. Now, I don't know if she has a sibling or not. I don't know. I don't know her family. But I know her family wants to find her and recover her. I need to know what the truth is. We have your diary. We've read your diary including the last entry. Now we'll talk. accident, that's fine, but we need the truth. We have to know the truth. That's all I'm asking for, is whatever happened. I have to know the truth. This is not going to go away. All I'm asking for is the truth. This isn't, if this was an accident, that's fine. We can deal with that. But I have to know what happened. I have to know what the truth was. I have to know how this happened. And the most important thing is, we have to know where she's at. We have to give this family some closure. Just like if this is your little sister, you would want closure. This family needs closure. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Is this something that was planned out or was this just an accident? It was an accident. That's, this, this is a starting point. That's kind of what I thought. Why don't we start with... Why don't we start with what happened? Did you get home from school at 3.30? You got home at 3.30? Mm -hmm. And then 
and what happened from there. Over the forest, like I said, Dustin. Yeah. 
so you brought him back to the house with you. Um, did you wash it off? Yes. Okay. How long a, a night is it? Not, not that long. What kind of handle does it have? Black handle. Did you stab her? Stab her body or where? Okay. How many times did you stab her? Two. Two. Did you hit her with anything first? Or did you just cut her neck? But what you tell me what happened. got home from school about 3.30. What happened from then? Walk me through step by step. Um, I got home. I went in my room. I still went out to the porch. And then I walked over and Elizabeth was outside. Did you, when did you dig the hole? Um, I don't know what I was trying to find a place to hide her body. So did you dig that after you killed her? Mm-hmm. Yes? Okay. So at about 5.30, you went out. Did you go to her house to get her? Mm-hmm. I went over there and she was outside, so I was like, yeah. You knew you were going to do it then? Okay, so you went over there about 5.30 and got her. Uh, was Emma with you? She was part of the way. Like did, I said, I ditched her. You ditched her? Yeah. Did she have a knife hidden on you? Or where was it at? Yeah, it was... I had it. In your hand? No. Okay. So you went... Did you walk all the way over to her house? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Show me what route you Went and got her, yeah. and then show me where you went from there. And show me with this pen where you went from there. You had Elizabeth. Okay. Okay, and then you went up here to a creek bed? Yes. Okay. Uh, and where did Emma turn back? Um, I'm going to go somewhere out here. Okay. Like I said. So it was just you and Elizabeth? What did you tell Elizabeth you were going to do? We were just hanging up at first. I, I don't know. I didn't. <sighs> you had the knife with you. Did you had you made up your decision you were going to kill her then? No. At what point did you make the decision that you were going to kill her? We had been at the creek. Why? you? Was she turned around? What what happened? She was turned around. Just came up behind her and cut her throat. And then stabbed her twice. And is it true you said 
then you burn her body. Okay, is that part true? Mm -hmm. So is her body should still be there? I burned it and then I like scattered it in the creek. Into the creek? Yes. It's a creek full of water? Yes. Okay. Because generally it's pretty hard to burn a body all the way. So it wasn't burned up all the way, was it? Yeah. No, because it's hard to burn a body. Right. So you kind of pushed what was left of the body into the water. Was the water moving pretty fast? Kind of. Okay. Close still. Still see your clothes. Where they burned off of her right Okay. And you took the knife back home. Mm -hmm. And then what did you do from there? You had the knife, and then show me what happened from there. I just walked back and came inside. Did you walk back this path that you showed me? Uh, yes. You walked this path and came back inside. Yep. And then what did you do? I uh, went up to my room, went out, came down. Put the knife in the sink? Is yep. that what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the hole, though? Just there. No, it wasn't just there. I dug it. Yeah, when, it. What, when did you dig it? Oh, that's right. I was looking for something to do with your body, so I dug it. When? It was before I came home. Before you came home from where? From the forest. Wednesday before all this? No. Wednesday it happened. After or before you killed her? After. You came back home. Yes. Went to your room. Heard Emma crying. Mm -hmm. Went to help her. Mm -hmm. Which would have been almost six o'clock in the evening when Emma was screaming. So when would you have had time to dig that hole? You didn't have a shovel with you. I had a knife. You could you didn't dig that hole with a knife. You did not dig I was out there for five hours. You didn't dig that hole with a knife. Grandpa loves you very much, doesn't he? Grandpa would do anything for you. I know you don't want to tell me. I know you want to protect him, but we have got to get to the truth in this. He came back, told him what had happened, and he wanted to help you. He wanted to try to make this right. I don't know what I thought Eddie. Who helped you? No one. We're going to put them all on a polygraph. Okay. Who helped you? Someone. When did you dig the hole? Wednesday. When? After I killed her. Not yeah. after you killed her. Listen. You've got to tell the truth. You're not telling the truth on this part. You're not telling the truth on this. Why does it even matter now? It does matter because we have got to find out the truth. Well, you already know it. We have got to know the whole truth. Tell us the truth. I don't know what I'm going back. No, you didn't. You didn't have a show. <clears throat> you 
tell them the truth about how you killed them. Believe that. Because that matches your values. <laughs> but you're still not telling the truth on the rest of this. I do the whole Friday. Mm -hmm. that I work, where you're sitting here right now, going through the agonizing part of not wanting to come this last portion and tell on someone else. Ooh, the truth, the truth, better. the truth is going to, the full truth on whatever happened here is going to come out. Okay, they didn't do it. Then tell me the full truth of all this. Why aren't you, why aren't you telling everything? I did. I switched up the whole thing because I'm going to make it like an accident. But then I was like, it really was on Friday that I did the whole. I you know it wasn't an accident. I've already talked to you. I know you planned this. I know you, I know you had this in your mind. I know you thought about this and I know you intended on doing this. I, I know that. It's, I know this wasn't an accident that it just spurred the moment. I know that from the whole. I know you intended on killing her. You brought her out there for that purpose. But the problem is your deception is causing us other issues here. Okay, so I'm, I'm past the point of thinking, is this an accident? Did, did she hit her head? Did did you just change your mind at the last second and for some reason decide to kill her? I know you brought her out there. Okay, why I did what's, well, that's not the issue, but I know that happened. But we're still having a problem here with this whole and the rest of it because you've been lying to us on that. You see, I mean, none of your times make any sense on, you didn't dig it with a knife. We know that didn't happen. Friday with the shovel. When on Friday? I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> would you lie to protect or cover up for someone else? I'm sure you would, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. You're a smart girl. At this point, we're going to have to investigate. You know, now your grandpa and Brian and Dustin and all these other folks. I'm going to have to get a larger map and have you point out exactly where that is because the priority for, at least for us right now, is to recover her body. 
so that family can get her back so that they can bury her and can understand if this was your sister, your family would want her back. So I'm, I'm going to need your help, okay? And pointing out where that was and maybe even if we have some problems showing us where that was. Uh, how did you put her in? Would you be willing to do that if we had to take us out there? We can't find it on the map. Because the priority for us is we, we've got to get that little girl back so they can give her, have some closure. Because the thing about it, you had the agony of having to grow up without a mother or father. I lost family, my family. Uh, I pretty much grew up without a mom or dad. My brother was killed, so I kind of grew up alone myself. So this family is going to grow up without a little girl now. But they at least need to get her body back to put her in the, in the ground to have some closure. So we'll deal with all the rest of this with, with you and get that figured out. But the first step is let's let's get to the truth and, and get her back. Okay. What haven't you told me? talk some more about this obviously but for right now I need to get a larger map uh, we're going to take a break here and I'll let you talk or whatever you need to do um, and I need to get a bigger map Just, yeah. <laughs> completely different than we treat people who can be honest. If you can be honest, if you can tell us what happened, even if you aren't protecting people you feel obligated to protect, we at least know we can help you, okay? So he's going to walk out, and like he said, he can't come back and talk, but don't you want to have told him the truth right from the beginning? If this is your opportunity. It's your opportunity. Okay. Put a split her throat and strangled her. You strangled her? Mm -hmm. okay. You strangled her with your hands? Yes. Okay. Did you have a knife on you? Yes. Did you cut her throat at any time? Yes. You cut her throat afterwards? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you strangled her first mm -hmm. until she was unconscious, dead, and then you slit her throat? Mm -hmm. And did you actually, did you stab her then? Mm -hmm. Did you do anything else to her? No. Okay. And then what happened after that? I went up. Bury your body. You buried her? Yes. Is your body still out there? I think so. You didn't burn her, did you? No. Yeah, I know you did. She's still out there in the same spot. I believe so. Okay. Tell me about that hole that she did dig. The hole that I saw that she pointed out. What was that about? It was early. Okay. Didn't do it. You didn't do it. Why? What was Okay. How deep did you dig the grave that she's in? It's not that deep. 
be able to point out on the map or take us to where she's at. You didn't burn her, did you? Did you bring the shovel with you? How did you dig the hole? Okay. When did you dig that hole? Okay. So you dug the hole on Friday and had it all ready. Did you leave the shovel out there? No. Okay. So the hole was already dug on Friday and then you brought her out there Wednesday. Killed her there on Wednesday, strangled her, and cut her throat. Stabbed her twice. Put her in the hole, and then how'd you fill the dirt in? With my hands. With your hands. Did you do anything else to her body? No. Did anyone help you? No. Who have you told about this? No one. No one. Did you tell Dustin? No. Did you tell your grandpa? No. Did you tell your friend Kylie? No. Did you tell anyone? No. Is that the truth? There's still something. There's still something. There's still something you're not telling. I can tell. Where's her cell phone at? It should be with her. Why did you pick her? like to kill someone. Yeah, but if you want to know. Was she just someone nearby or was it yeah.
Anything. I'm going to check no. your pockets. So, Nothing. any razor blades in your pockets? Anything like that? No. Okay. Anything else in your pockets? No other razor blades or anything like that? No. Check that pocket out. What about in this pocket? No. Okay. Nothing else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing in your hair? Bra straps? Nothing mm -hmm. at all? No. Okay. You're not, uh, I know you've had problems in the past. Are you, are you suicidal right now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Are you killing yourself right now? Don't have any sharp objects in your shoes or anything like that. Okay. What we're going to do right now is uh, just kind of get some things lined up to, um, to go out there and have you point out um, that side where she's at. Okay. Would you be able to do that? Right back. Okay. You sit tight, you focus on your breathing, you stay calm. Take this 
I'll be right back. All right. Uh, That's the biggest thing. She wants, she wants the truth to come out, and that's why she wanted you to come in and talk with us. She wants whatever the truth is. She wants it to come out. That's the biggest thing. So we need to go out there and have you point out where she is, and what happened. Oh, yeah. okay. And we are going to continue the folks involved in this, the investigators are going to continue to talk to everyone else that might be involved, because we don't shut down at this point and assume that, okay, this is all over, it's done. Uh, we kind of start from the outside, from the big circle, and start working our way in, if that makes sense. Because uh, we have to assume that there might be more people involved that helped, and that's why it's so important. But you tell the truth. Like she said, you know, there's some parts of your story that it's a problem with a lie. You know, when you tell a lie, you have to tell another one to cover that up, and then another one, and then another one, and it kind of snowballs. And once you're branded a liar, people assume you're lying about everything. And so when you do tell the truth, it's hard for someone to believe you because they assume, well, she lied about this, she lied about this, she lied about this. She's probably still lying. You see what I mean? So, we need to make sure that no more lies. Everything has to be the truth, because what you have to understand is you're under a tremendous amount of stress right now. And you're in a lot of pain right now. And we do this for a living. I mean, I... We're real good at, at, te at detecting before long. So I knew you were lying from the moment you came in here. I was trying to get you to come to grips with that. But they love you. When you went and picked Elizabeth up, was Emma with you at that time? She was. Okay, so she was with you at that time. Yes. When you started walking towards the forest? Yes. Was she with you then? Mm -hmm. well, at what point was she not with you? We were in the forest, and I told her to go home, so she left. Did she know what you were going to do? I don't think so. Had you ever talked to her about this sort of thing? 
Um, she really did get stuck in that briar patch or that thorn bush, though. Yeah. And you had blood on your pants. Good. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Because Emma told us that you had blood on your pants. What did you tell her? I told her I was on my period. That wasn't blood from your period, though, was it? It was. It was? So, yeah. It was down here. Are you sure? That's what Emma said. Did you get blood on you, Elizabeth? Surely you had it on your hands. Um, I'll wash my hands. Do you remember though? Did you have some on your hands? I had a teeny bit. came back home, what did you do with that gun? Did you clean it? Yeah. Describe the knife to me the difference. There's a kitchen knife with a black handle. Black handle. Mm -hmm. black handle. Okay. Have, is it just straight edge? Does it have those serrations in it? Do you know it's what I'm a, talking about? It's just about? straight edge. Straight edge. Wide is it? Is it like you know the chef's knife sometimes with the big for chopping, or is it a real thin one? Okay. When you did stab her, was it in the front or in the back? In the front. In the front. Okay. High up or low down? Low high. High, so up in the chest. Okay. What was she wearing? Do you know, so Elizabeth was never playing in the front yard or by a rock with him, and that couldn't have happened, could it? Because she came straight from, Elizabeth came straight from her house out to the forest with you, didn't she? Okay. And when did you dig those holes, you said? Friday. Are you sure it was Friday? Yes. Or you just think it was Friday because we worked through those days? I'm pretty sure it's Friday. Okay. Where were you Saturday? Um, my mom's house. Where's that at? It's up at the lake. Okay. And Sunday you were? Also with my mom. I okay. came back with Sunday. So you didn't do it Sunday because you got home late, you said? Yes. Okay. You didn't do it Monday or Tuesday? Right. Friday, you were off school. Mm -hmm. okay. And the day after this happened, you skipped school and you're smoking pot with Dustin, mm -hmm. right? You're pretty close with Dustin. Yeah. Okay. So you skipped school, you're smoking pot. Did you sleep with him that day? No. You didn't? Wait, what? Did you have sex? Yeah, did you, did you have sex with him? I did. I was trying to be nice about it. Oh. Did you have sex with him that day? Okay, so you're pretty close with him. You're smoking pot and you had sex with him that day. Yes. Did you tell him about this? No. Why not? You guys are that you're close. Didn't this... you feel like you needed to tell somebody? No, it's not really the kind of thing that you tell people. Did you want to tell somebody? Somebody about this, who would you tell? I would probably tell Kylie. 
but I haven't talked to her. Just give you a heads up, Mike's here. Okay. Is that true? I assume so. Yeah. You go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll have to talk to him and get him ready, but probably what we're going to do, Alyssa, is get everything ready and then drive out there. And then have you walk through and, and show us because I don't know that area of the property. And have you walk through and show us where where it is. Okay. 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 So take a minute and we'll be right back. I am going to go out with him and I'll bring my phone and introduce you. is Michael, okay? He is going to accompany you, okay? He is going to replace me because I'm not dressed for the woods and you and I have talked about the dirt and I don't do dirt, okay? So Michael is going to go with you. He's going to be your advocate. He's going to be there. If you have questions, you can ask Michael, okay? Okay. I remind you that through the course of all of this, you are still, you've been Mirandized, okay? No, we told you your rights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the rights that we read in the beginning. They, they applied through all this. Yes. They, they applied through all of it, okay? Once we leave here, there will be no more questioning, but we're just asking for it. Well, well, so they, no, no, no. well they, I mean, they may have to They may have to ask her questions to just to locate once we're the out body. Here. They did not invoke. Oh, they did not. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. So, are we ready? I will be at the juvenile office, and when you are done, they will return you to the juvenile office. What we're going to do when we get out there, I'm going to ask you to walk us to, so that you both know. I'm going to ask her to show us where you buried her. And once we're actually out there, what I'm going to ask you to do is just basically tell me what happened when you were there. So just like you told me right here, all I'm going to ask you to do is tell me what happened. How did this happen? Who was standing where and tell me the sequence of events so that I understand them better versus you just telling me that way while we're there I understand when you say this happened who was standing where and what happened so that it actually makes sense to me are you okay with that that's all I'm going to ask you to do is just walk me through what occurred and then where it all occurred right there that's that's all I'm going to ask you to do that's the only question I'm going to ask are you okay with that? Okay. And I'm going to see you at the juvenile office. Okay. Okay? So. Okay. You go ahead with Michael. 